very infectious diseases amidst the pandemic uh, disorders which are affecting us how we have to remain healthy is very very important again and apart from that i will also concentrate on some of the herbs uh, where which can be in our backyard which can help for us to be remaining healthy uh the first very important question i would like to ask you participants is that whether you really feel that we are healthy so this question is important because today we are suffering with the stress uh, that may be because of our occupation or profession or else it can be simply because we have some alteration in the food we have the alteration in the sleep especially the timing of the sleep etc what we used to follow once upon a time when we were kids we are not doing that uh, as per our age is moving towards the uh, old age so especially when it comes to the age of uh, uh, very young youthfulness maybe from the point of 16 years only we are under the stress we are introduced into the uh, very um, bad environment uh, wherein we will be introduced into the stress and because of that we may be having lot many uh, disorders uh, like it can be sleep disorders it can be loneliness it can be depression or it can be uh, some of the disorders uh, uh, which i would like to uh, mention here especially the diabetic disorders uh, something about the complications of the diabetes or else it can be uh, the cancer etc etc so uh, the list will move on so we never feel we are healthy uh, so how we can uh, remain healthy that is a very important point here and for that i would like to concentrate about Uh, the basic principles for the natural health how we can remain in the health, healthy or we can uh, be naturally healthy so that is only because of the balance what we can maintain on the different factors which are there in our body so what our purview is about the body is uh, in ayurveda is uh, we have the tridoshas which are linked to the body we have the tridoshas which are also linked to the manas we have the tissues or the sapta dhatus the seven dhatus what we call the different working tissues in our body we also have the mala which is actually uh, giving a broader sense of all the waste material which may be uh, excreted which should be excreted out of the body and apart from that we also have Uh, apart from that we also have the manas a very broad uh, uh, spectrum of the manas a very broad, broad spectrum of atma and very broad spe uh, spectrum of indriya so you have got two words i think uh, you participants you can be seeing here you have got two words here one is sama and another is prasanna so sama means balance prasanna is also balance sama is the balance which you are looking in vata pitta kapha that is the uh, body factors the tridoshas and sama is also for the tridoshas which are pertaining to the manas that is sattva raja and tamas and sama also for the tissue or the sapta dhatus sama also for the mala at the same time you have got another word that is the prasanna which is linked to atma which uh, which again has three factors that is sat chit and ananda and apart from that uh, we have got the manas again which is linked with the tridoshas that is sattva raja tamas and the indriyas that indriyas refers to the uh, special sense organs Uh, maybe the eyes maybe the uh, nose maybe the ears maybe the total uh, the skin and uh, uh, then uh, in all that consideration the five sense organs whatever are there which are helping us to uh, perceive the things uh, from the different environment or uh, uh, the perception the direct perception perception to into, into the body or the manas that is very important here the balance again is Uh, helpful for us to remain healthy so how to remain healthy and how to balance these factors that is only by the dinacharya rutucharya sadvrutta rasayana 
So Dhinacharya refers to the regimen which we have to adopt daily. Rutucharya is the regimen which we have to adopt as per the changes what we see in the season. Sadhvrutta is something it should be built uh, uh, from the childhood by the parents or by the society. Uh, by um, by also by the acquired means. For example, we go to school, we learn some moral values there also. So this sadhvrata is something uh, related to the moral values, what we are supposed to um, actually uh, perform uh, in the day-to-day -day life. And apart from that, the Rasayana. There is a very important concept in Ayurveda about the Rasayana. And this Rasayana means it is those uh, herbs, we can say, or it can be those minerals, we can say, or else we, it can be the animal sources, which can daily, if you are taking it, will be helping you to prolong your life. And that too, giving the quality and the quantity, uh, very good quanti quantified life. So when you are telling life, it is very important that you give the concentration on the quality as well as the quantity. So quality refers to how well you are living your life and quantity refers to how much you have the lifespan. Uh, maybe where you are, you'll be uh, there here on the earth for 80 years or maybe 100 years. But how best you are living your life, that is very important. So these Rasayana, it may be herbs or it can be the animal products or it can be the minerals as well or it can be the mixture of all three. Uh, all three together, which will be helping you by the daily intake uh, to imp improve your quality of the life. Uh, it's very important for us to know our prakriti before we step on to the further uh, uh, communication about how we can lead our healthy life, uh, our uh, life healthy. It's very important we know the prakriti. Like uh, we need to know our constitution. Constitution means. Uh, uh, how your built is or uh, how your um, uh, manas and uh, how your performance is with the society, with the environment, uh, how your skin will give the response, how your eyes gives the response, how your mind gives the response. So depending on all those factors, every gross features what you're presenting on your body, that will be telling your prakriti and there you are going to define it as vata pradhana prakriti, Kapha Pradhana Prakriti and Pitta Prakriti. So all these Vata, Pitta and Kapha are the three toshas which I have already told you, uh, which are linked to the body factors. So for example, I'll take only one example. Uh, so for example, you see, uh, in case of some people, they'll be very much uh, uh, fond of uh, traveling. So they would like to travel from one area to another. They enjoy the traveling and they will not be having any problem to travel wherever you request them to travel. They enjoy the life when they travel. So such people will be considered as Vata. Similarly, who are uh, disinclined to move about, who remain a little bit idle, they do not like to move at all, a uh, little bit stagnant. Uh, and if they, if you are telling them to travel also, they will be, uh, they will not be very happy about it. So such people will be Kapha Pradhana. And uh, usually Pitta Pradhana people, they would like to travel also. And they will, they will be uh, also searching for an adventure. So the adventure is very important for them. If you simply tell travel for an office function or uh, office uh, uh, work and all, they will not be very happy. But if you are giving a task that they will be uh, also involved in some adventurous uh, tasks, then they'll be very happy. So that will be the difference here. And apart from that, some gross features on the body that also will be telling you about the Vata, Kapha and the Pitta Pradhanata of those people. And apart from that, there may be mixture also. Like uh, some people can be Vata, Kapha, Pradhana. Some people can be Kapha, uh, Kapha Pitta, Pradhana. So in that way, you have the variations. So that permutation and the computation will surely be there. Uh, so, uh, like uh, when we are concentrating on the Dinacharya, we also need to know about our Prakriti. Like a uh, Kapha person, he may not be very much uh, uh, inclined of uh, uh, rising early in the morning. But when you are telling the Vata and the Pitta people, they will be, uh, they will be very, uh, very much hurriedly doing that, whatever told to them. So in that task also, the Kapha Prakriti people may have to do some more uh, hard work. 
uh, especially when it comes to the immune uh, boosting mechanisms in our body so that is why the knowing our prakriti is very very important depending on that only we can tell what are the tasks which they can uh, perform daily in their life so that the immunity will be very well functioning and similarly they will be healthy so what are uh, uh, what are these factors for example immunity will be developing by rectifying the biological clock so you know that nowadays we have got a very hectic occupation or the profession so either it can be also wearing our biological clock wherein the people may be given the work to do in the night and they sleep in the morning and uh, or else they sleep uh, they sleep in the night but it cannot be sufficient which uh, may lead to some uh, problems in the body so that is why it's very important that the people also concentrate on their biological clock and they have to start it from early rising that is is brahmi muhurte uttiste and apart from that once they rise in the early morning either it can be around 4 to 5 o'clock uh, early in the morning uh, if they are uh, if they are going to see some good materials for example they can uh, see a mirror or uh, they can uh, see some ghee which is kept in a very good vessel maybe for example if you have got a, got a gold vessel or silver vessel or something like that that can also be kept or simply even in the steel vessel also the look of uh, look towards the uh, uh, the ghee will help the particular persons uh, uh, have some positive waves positive vibrations in the body in such a way that the whole day can go very good and apart from that drinking of the warm and hot water that is called as usha uh, usha jalapana which will be helping for cleansing his total body so because you know once they get up so when they are sleeping in the night usually the toxins the waste bodies everything will be accumulating in the area where they can just pass on out of the you know everything is based on uh, the absorption and everything is based on uh, uh, the diffusion etc in our body so here uh, all these uh, waste bodies uh, uh, whatever the waste materials are there all these waste materials they will be accum- accumulating in that area where they can be diffusing out easily once you get up in the early morning so in such a case if you are drinking the hot water that will be helping you to eliminate this toxic materials and also it's very important once you drink water you also attend the nature calls because that is called as mala visarjana so you know that people are suffering from constipation nowadays or else they will be suffering from loose stools or maybe incomplete stools with a little bit uh, difficulty in passing the stools and all those things everything is related to this biological clock if your biological clock is not set properly then you will see that your waste materials will be accumulated in even in the vital organs of your body and that is why those vital organs can fail for example the kidney failure that can also happen because you have not passed your urine properly whenever you have got the nature calls Uh, now co- coming to the concentration on the oral health we know usually when we wake up we usually brush the teeth but brushing the teeth is uh, not simply a mandatory thing you also should know that it is because to stay healthy for example neem and babul twigs so these are the things you usually should prefer rather preferring uh, colgate or any other uh, uh, material uh, the paste etc which can many a times lead to some ulcer uh, formations in your uh, oral cavity because oral cavity should not have any cavities should not have any Uh, uh any ulcers that is because all whatever the absorption is there a very important part of the food important part of the f- medicine will be absorbed in the oral area that is why the oral area should be very very healthy because it will also take care that the very good nutrients very good potent parts of the food and the medicine will be absorbed orally only that is why it is better we select the neem and the babul twigs which are astringent antiseptic antiviral antibacterial and which also clears of the moist and sweetish taste which may promote the growth of the microorganisms and we have got something called as rinsing of the oral cavity isn't it like once we brush our teeth we usually rinse our cavity by the water 
but you also have in ayurveda a special methodology called as gandusha and kavala so gandusha is where you are keeping the water or maybe some medicated water or maybe oil into the oral cavity and you are seeing that it is it will be staying for some time there Uh, it will be full also the whole whole of the mouth will be full with that particular material you are using for rinsing in kavala little bit of those material will be put into the mouth and there will be some space so that you can uh, move your uh, move your mouth in such a way that uh, uh, whatever uh, area you can uh, make this particular material uh, reach in the whole of the oral cavity so uh, th these are the two methodology which should be adopted and we have got the concept of oil pull pulling also which is considered to be very very effective so oils can also be the coconut oil or it can be any other oil which you use regularly for making or preparing your food depending on the uh, area where you are living for example in south we usually use the coconut oil simply coconut oil also can be a very good rinser of the oral cavity because it is very good uh, anti viral so antiviral you know that a word antiviral will be very catchy these days because we are suffering from uh, the uh, covid 19 which is actually a viral infection and apart from that we have got a jivha nirlekana jivha nirlekana it is nothing but cleaning of the tongue so the uh, and why we are so uh, why we are persisting that you have to clean your tongue very very properly that is because it is the organ of taste so organ of taste means you know there are six taste of course modern uh, concept is that there are uh, four taste but we have got the concept of six taste in our ayurveda and all these taste they will be linking to the vitals again for example every taste will be having a uh, connection with the brain functions so for example if i am eating some uh, maybe i would like to eat some uh, uh, sweet thing today so if i feel like that so that the feeling itself gives one particular uh, uh, different uh, uh, chemicals which will be released through the uh, through the stimulation of the higher higher uh, functions and uh, that is very very important that is why the tongue should be in a uh, condition where it will be identifying the taste very particularly if your tongue is not clean then it may fail to identify the taste and if you fail to identify the taste whatever the higher functions whatever the information through the tongue has to go to the higher functions that also will be failing and many a times this uh, may uh, also be a problem for the defense mechanism of our uh, body for example uh, so some extra sweetish taste may be there because of some mucus uh, which has accumulated in the mouth okay so you know that always the mucus gives us some uh, sweetish taste into the body the sweetish taste and uh, this mucus it it will give a favorable uh, uh, favorable environment to the bacteria to grow if the tongue doesn't identify that your tongue uh, your oral cavity is uh, has created one environment where the uh, uh, sweetish taste has increased where the ph is increased or maybe decreased or uh, maybe uh, the mucus is increased then this information will not go to the higher centers and these higher centers you know they are involved in the defense mechanism and the tongue which had a failure will also lead to the failure in the defense mechanism and because of that the whole body may suffer so that is why we may be attacked with the virus we can be attacked with the bacteria we can be attacked with the different infections so that is the reason why we have to clean our tongue very properly and another thing is the ideal ph of the saliva lies between 6.8 and 7.2 so that only is maintained by the balanced diet so balanced diet means what that we will be taking up in the further slides uh next we also have to concentrate see all these i am telling you about the oral health and ocular health nasal health ear health etc all these are something which is related to the uh, indri uh, hello sorry for interrupting can you please resume your presentation uh it's not visible the slides slides are not visible yes ma'am
Is it visible? No, ma'am. No, it's yes, ma'am. No, it's visible. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. So these things, these things, what I am telling you is about the health of the sense organs. Because I have told you that indriya is also one of the part of our body, uh, which will be helping for maintaining the health. So this is about that was about the oral health. Next, I'll be concentrating on the ocular health. So ocular health means uh, the health of our eyes. So how it can be. Uh, usually in Ayurveda, the Ayurveda tells that every day one has to use the Anjana. Uh, and Anjana is Kajal, nothing but the Kajal. And every day the eyes should be in a position to use the uh, Anjana. The people should use Anjana, but it should be home prepared. And how you make it in the home means you can use some of the flowers like Parijata and uh, Nandiyavarta. It is called in Sanskrit Nandiyavarta. I think in Hindi it is called as Tagar. Tagar, Marathi may be Tagar bolte hai usko. Uh, I have given the uh, botanical identity, Tabar Montana uh, diver, uh, Divericata. So this particular flowers that can be taken, it can be crushed. Okay, a paste is made uh, or uh, you can also make a, a soft paste of all these flowers and uh, you can dip it into uh, the, uh, you, you can uh, you can see that all these uh, paste, the soft paste or uh, whatever this juice is extracted from these flowers, they can be uh, uh, all these, uh, when uh, uh, they are put into a vessel and to that vessel, the cotton is put. Uh, that cotton, uh, it has to uh, suck this particular uh, uh, juice and after that you can make a wick of this particular uh, uh, cotton and that wick is used for the burning and that burn whatever that uh, charcoal it will be given, no? that fumes whatever come out, so it will be giving some charcoal, right? So that particular uh, black uh, fume, that has to be collected, so there is a picture there. So that has to be collected and uh, in a plate which is smeared with a ghee and that should be used for the anjana. So that will be helping actually for the uh, protection of the ocular health. And uh, apart from that, you know that uh, we we are uh, used nowadays to continuously mon uh, see the uh, see the laptops and uh, continuously to see the mobile and everything. So depending on the, on the occupation profession also, many a times our health, the ocular health can go imbalanced. So you should be very careful about it. Next is about the nasal health. Uh, so I have mentioned one of the concepts there that is called as nasya. And it is, uh, nasya is something which we are adopting whenever the patient is having some diseases of the na nasal cavity. For example, if they have some sinusitis, etc., we will be uh, usually prescribing them the nasya. But we, apart from that, even in the house, we can go for the nasya, wherein we can drop some amount of oil into our nostril. Both of the nostrils, we have to uh, put some oil. We can uh, So usually two drops would be sufficient for that. So that is called as pratimarsha nasya. So what you use regularly. So this Pratimarsha Nasya has got a very good impact on the body. Uh, the defense uh, mechanism also improves in our body. The immunity also improves in our body such that it will defend us from being attacked by the virus. So, or the bacteria, any other infective disorders. Uh, see, whenever I am telling you infection, I think it is better you uh, consider it as anything which is by the virus and the bacteria. So, and this mechanism of putting the uh, uh, oil into this uh, or instilling this oil into this uh, nostril, it is uh, actually give, giving the uh, strength to the nasal passages and it will be relieving the headache. You know, usually the people are suffering nowadays by the migraines. So that can be done and uh, allergies and uh, sinusitis, uh, mucus blockages, everything. And so many uh, nasal infections, everything you can prevent by this particular mechanism where you will be instilling some oil. So it can be two to six drops daily. You can do that depending on the prakriti again. So and apart from that, uh, apart from that, not only the oil, some of the preparations also can help you 
to uh, to see that the health the nasal health will be maintained for example if at all the people have got hair fall and everything uh, such uh, problems in the hair uh, usually the uh, you have got one uh, uh, plant called as bringa raja so this bringa raja uh, that juice can be extracted of the total the whole plant and that juice can be instilled into the nose so that will be helping for the Uh, relief of the headache as well because we have done a study uh, i had uh, a, a, a student called as dr tejasvi she has worked on it and uh, she has seen that a uh, uh, lot many benefits are achieved by the headache uh, especially in the headache and the migraine by this particular bringa raja uh, and apart from that there is something called as ear uh, health what we have to maintain daily see all these things i am talking is not one one day show it is every day we have to perform this and here it is about the karna purana that is of course we have some uh, contradictions here some people will not agree that uh, the uh, medicated liquid or oil etc can be instilled into the ear but uh, in ayurveda it is considered to be very healthy that every day one has to go for the karna purana or instilling of the oil into the Uh, karna or ear wherein the taila and the medicated oil will be put uh, depending on the prakriti you can uh, select the dosage also and uh, health usually the coconut oil <clears throat> which is little bit warmed or else you have got the gingerly oil which can be used for the uh, instilling and apart from that depending on the disease also one can select different plants for example we had dr niyati who was working on the colocasia esculenta that is called uh, the kesu in kannada so usually we prepare a uh, uh, very beautiful dish called as patrode in this particular leaf uh, so i think uh, many people will be in the in the north also it is prepared so this particular leaf the petiole was actually used for this study and uh, they, she has made one uh, uh, liquid uh, distilled water uh, she had prepared and she had it in, instilled in the fungal uh, infection of the ears and uh, most of the patients they had the relief of the automycosis so that um, usually in the mild to moderate type of the mo uh, automycosis we are observing that it is giving a very good result and especially because we are staying in the coastal area many people of uh, uh, such infections will uh, uh, be benefited by such mechanism also it can be used daily also and uh, similarly we have got something uh, called as tummy health which we should maintain by learning to eat uh, why we i i have used the word learning to eat means this is very very difficult because uh, uh, nowadays we have got something called as food addiction also it is not simply alcohol addiction it is also food addiction because uh, uh, we have lot many choices people will be discovering uh, different types of ice creams dis- different types of chocolates and different types of cakes and uh, you know every gali gali they will be having uh, uh, pani puris and uh, masal puris and everything so i think it is very difficult for us to control our uh, hunger and uh, uh, usually the satiety also will vary so understanding the biology is very very important especially ourselves our body whether it will be taking whatever you are eating that is very very important because immunity is very propor- proportional to the daily food regimen if you are taking pani puri one day it means you are altering your body for whole of the month so you should be knowing that whatever you are eating that will really have a control on your immune mechanism and if you are eating rubbish then surely you will end up with different disorders uh, of course i would like to talk about uh, something called as kichdi because you know our prime minister he is one uh, personality who is uh, who is having lot of interest about ayurveda and he has been promoting it uh, in his own way and uh, he is very fond of kichdi you know all of you i think you know that he is very fond of kichdi and uh, he, in uh, november 3 2017 when there was a food uh, uh, conference uh, in uh, delhi he had 
has told that kichdi is a complete food of course it is complete food and i'll tell you why and uh, the guinness record was was also there about this particular kichdi uh, like uh, sanjeev kapoor the very uh, celebrity cook he is he has uh, cooked this particular kichdi by uh, with uh, many people with him like 50 people all together they have uh, come together and they have cooked around 918 kg and that made first world record uh, of the kichdi similarly very recently in 2020 only in himachal pradesh uh, uh, they have done uh, they have broken the previous uh, record they have uh, done around 1995 kg kichdis and uh, of course the promotion of the kichdi is very important that is because it is most protein rich iconic dish of india it has upteen variation of the dish which is noted across the country because the whole of the india they have various type of cuisines isn't it so the taste may vary everything may vary but you have seen that some of the dishes are very very common everywhere maybe little bit of uh, uh, difference will be there in the taste in india we have got this uh, kichdi uh, which is prepared by each and every community every state but little bit variation depending on the vegetables they use how much ghee they use how much jeera they use or maybe uh, using of the spices may vary but ultimately it has got the same raw material that is the moong dal uh, so uh, really it is historical and uh, this particular kichdi in ayurveda shastra both in charaka samhita sushruta samhita and uh, uh, there is another book called as astanga hridaya so all these uh, acharyas charaka sushruta and vagbhata acharyas they have agreed that we have some of the Uh, some of the materials which can be used daily not all materials can be used daily as i told you eating pani puri and every day eating the same thing eating cakes every day eating the same thing eating ice creams every day eating ice creams only so that type of uh, abhyasa or that type of uh, habit is not good for the health rather in our shastra it is told that some of the material that is the rice and uh, especially the green gram everything and uh, we have got a uh, uh the rock salt which is also told to be uh, daily used which can be used daily and grita or ghee also it can be used daily the honey can be used daily so all these things are considered to be the materials which can be used daily that is why kichdi really makes a sense because it is the combination of the rice and the legume uh, the uh, and uh, we had made a study actually where in some of the boys who were suffering from uh, the sneezing uh, usually you know the sneezing comes only when the people are not able to uh, withstand the uh, allergen which is coming from outside the environmental allergy usually maybe in the morning when they get up early or uh, get up little bit late or something like that they start sneezing usually 10 times 15 times 20 times 30 times the sneezing will be there by some of the patients so we had done one study wherein uh, two people uh, of course it was a type of study called as randomized cro- crossover trial so two groups also were given uh, uh, the similar type of the treatment and we saw in what stage the people uh, reacted to this particular kichdi so kichdi was given as a breakfast here and uh, why we were uh, so keen about the sneezing means sneezing is a defense mechanism which is adopted by the body to reboot the system for clearing the mucus or microbes from the nose one or two sneezes usually take care of this rebooting method if patients who cannot reboot this potentially explains why they sneeze more often indicating a weakened Uh, immunity so the result of this particular uh, research was that the kichdi helped to lessen the number of the sneeze and in the patient uh, both groups of course in the group 1 we had given from the starting on day so they had a very good result and group 2 in the middle when we started the kichdi only they got some result so prior to it there was no result so after they started only we, they got result the ultimate thing is to tell you that kichdi can be a wonderful food which will be helping for the immunity so it's not simply the food it is something which will be improve in, in your immunity so baladishtanam arogyam uh, so that is a combination here see grains and the legume so kichdi is nothing but a combination of grain and the legume grain means rice that is orisa sativa is used and legume is the 
fasciolus radiatus is used so this will be having low uh, low uh, threonin and uh, lysine tryptophan and all high in the methionine and uh, this one is otherwise low in the methionine and uh, tryptophan uh, so that is a that total combination no the grain and the legume combination whatever is there that will be helping for balancing Uh, whatever is in the deficiency, and you know that water and rock salt and jeera, whatever you are using, haridra, whatever you are using, and uh, trikatu and hingu, everything, whatever you are mixing, that will be enhancing everything, the taste and everything. And apart from the ghee, also whatever you are using, that will be helping for the amino acid adequacy. So totally to tell that the simple kichdi. and uh, uh, so one can you really use it and you also have another type of uh, uh, this thing uh, uh, cuisine mentioned here that is green gram soup you can take a screenshot of this also how to prepare the soup uh, so the method of preparation is here Uh, this also we can take daily. So moong dal, whatever the soup is there, these are also can be taking taken daily. So because every food you cannot take daily, so taking daily also will be influencing the immunity of the body. And apart from that, some of the fruits I would like to mention because fruits are something which will be enhancing your taste. That is why improving the health, and uh, that is why it's very important you make the fruit. the part of your diet every day because they can avoid the heart attacks they can avoid the cancer alzheimer and the digestive problems and uh, apart from that you know, some cholesterol also many a times uh, they can uh, control and uh, the skin complexion also can be maintained the respiratory capacities also will be improving for example i will be telling you is about the banana of course you know that it is very cost effective health effective and uh, it has got vitamin c beta carotene vitamin b and um, uh, you can uh, if at all banana is taken daily then it can influence your stress threshold like it can uh, help you to take the st uh, stress in a better manner so that is why you can surely indicate this uh, banana daily in your diet and uh, it is also indicated in the dysentery and uh, as well as the hypertension uh, and apart from that you have apple of course there is a saying that apple a day keeps the doctor away of course it the, you have got the potassium and the vitamin c in the apples which will be maintaining the sugar in the blood because see many people will be asking especially the diabetic people they will be asking whether i can take the fruits and uh, whether apple can be taken etc etc surely apple can be taken depending on the the patient's condition and everything you can prescribe the apple uh, because uh, uh, the pecuin in the apple there is one content called as pecuin that will be balancing the insulin in the blood and thus it will be regulating the blood sugar also it can regulate the blood pressure also and you have got the phenolics and the flavonoids so these flavonoids and all they are very good antioxidants which will be helping for the anti aging so that is why one can really help uh, uh, through uh, you can prescribe or you can uh, use this particular apple Uh, which will be immune, uh, helping in the immunity, and especially it can uh, manage the psychological disorders, especially the anxiety, burning maturation, cancer, prostate, gastritis, etc. Also, it can maintain. You have this pineapple also. So pineapple also, uh, you you can see some of the edematous condition in the body. Now, some swelling will be there, generalized swelling or facial swelling, etc. There you can use this pineapple. and especially because you have it has the manganese and minerals which will be helping again for the immunity development the strength also will improve and it will also help in the blood circulation and oxygenation of the cells so now it will also improve the digestion a uh, one more factor which our ayurveda will promote is about the fumigation in the home that is called as dhoop dhoop uh, lagana uh, full in the house and all no in previous days we had that uh, custom of uh, dhoop lagana but abhi wo nahi hai now we are only using this mosquito repellents and everything isn't it so that can really give some uh, allergies and all but uh, we have got uh, some of the mechanism defense mechanism in our body also can be influenced if you are using this dhup and in this uh, dhup you can use this neem mustard and uh, the uh, haridra or uh, kurkuma 
for uh, producing the fumes and uh, abhyanga and snana so every day we bath of course but bathing is also very important which has to be followed by the abhyanga so abhyanga is massaging our body uh, as far as possible because uh, uh, very important because the uh, usually children and all they will be massaged and they will take bath but actually this is one procedure even the adult and uh, till we die we have to carry this particular custom of uh, the abhyanga or what we call the massaging and then uh, taking bath that has to be actually considered till the day we die because that will help not only for the complexion of the skin uh, and you know the skin is a sense organ i told you the immunity also comes from the sense organ so the sense organs if they start developing a very good defense mechanism again the body will be protected so the body complexion or the skin complexion is not only one area what we have to concentrate it will also hello and you guys it will also see that uh, uh, the defense mechanism is also very nicely done in the body and that is why uh, one can also go for oil massage and uh, bathing and how we can bath whether it is only the plain water no need if you have got any uh, fungal infections uh, maybe some people will be having ringworms isn't it ringworm is very very common uh, usually when you are working with uh, many people and all if some one is in infected it will be spreading to another so ringworm or any other fungal infections you can also use use the uh, 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 medicated uh, uh, water wherein the medicated or water can be prepared by neem it can also be prepared by pongamia pinnata and it can also be prepared by adathoda vasika that is called as vasika vasa in our uh, sanskrit and uh, another very important area what we have to consider reconsider in our life is tambula sevana we have got lot many hobbies like uh, we have uh, ice creams and uh, chocolates and uh, we people some people have smoking some people have alcohol as addictions but actually this is one very important habit what we have to cultivate every day because the betel leaf is a rich source of vitamins minerals Uh, essential oils etc and it has got many phytochemicals and all these all together will help for the oral health and it will pacify the uh, tridoshas and it will also see that some of the diseases like uh, diabetes will not come to our body some autoimmune immune disease uh, disorders also will be taken care of and uh, especially anti inflammatory and uh, uh, immune modulatory and anti ulcer hepatoprotective activity of this particular betel leaves surely i think it has to be promoted as a daily regimen uh, the only thing is you should not add something like you know a pan mala uh, whenever you are going to this pan mala they will be mixing many things and they will be giving together so that is not the way how we have to take this tambula it is only along with a little bit of arecnut you have to take it next is about the nidra the sleep is very very important in our life nowadays uh, because of various reasons people are not sleeping uh, timely the timely sleep is very important because it can lead to obesity if not slept properly then it can lead to the obesity it can lead to diabetes and it can lead to cardiovascular disorders etc mood disorders and uh, uh, like uh, uh loneliness will be there dementia will be there memory loss especially is a very important thing what we are seeing here even in uh, uh, 30 year old people also we see they are uh, having the memory loss so i think that is all because of inadequate sleep so for that you can use some oil also regular intake Uh, regular application of the oil on to the head uh, or else you can also prepare some of the oil in your house only like uh, shatavari i think you have heard about shatavari it is uh, it is asparagus so you can you have uh, heard about bilva uh, so all these things trifala so all these things all together you can make a oil and you can apply it regularly otherwise also you have got some ready made oils which can be used daily and uh, that will be promoting not only your hair it also will be promoting your uh, uh, sleep 
uh, exercise again is very very important because it has got the influence of uh, uh, on the uh, immunity and exercise uh, usually what we feel is uh, we may have to go to the gym and everything no it's not like that simply it can be rotating some heavy objects and it can be pulling some ropes it can be like shooting the arrows on the board it can be even hunting so that was also once upon a time considered to be a very good exercise so and uh, the possible uh, positive things what will be developing here is it will be giving very good glow to the body it will be giving the energy and it will also be uh, reducing the fat uh, fat and uh, one second one second give me one one minute just because the battery is low okay and the body also will be tolerating the heat and the cold rain wind everything and uh, but but the thing is uh, the exercise has to be properly practiced if it or it is not practiced properly then it can give body aches it can give joint pains paralysis also one can develop and degenerative disorders also so you should be very careful you should have one sports personality who will be guiding you about the various exercise what you can uh, adopt in your daily regimen and yoga also can be helpful especially in the diabetes mellitus it has very recently many studies were undertaken Uh, for this uh, uh, diabetes mellitus uh, from different asanas uh, and uh, you have seen that the result is the optimum level of the insulin will be released by the yoga and that is why the diabetes mellitus will come to the control uh, meditation is also very important meditation is many a time simply sitting simply sitting or else you can also chant one uh, uh, mantra because you know there is a connection not only our body and not only our sense organs not only our uh, mind um, or the atma uh, where, where uh, the connectivity is lost so the all these uh, things all these four factors whatever are there the connectivity will be lost many a times because of which we will be uh, going for different diseases and this connectivity has to be again rebuilt and uh, it can happen only by the meditation wherein uh the silent uh, uh sitting many a times not doing anything also simply concentrating on one area or one uh, particular uh, point one particular object one particular mantra that can help you lot uh, uh, to build your uh, build up your immunity uh, of course it has got any uh, some other things also like confusion it will be removing your confusion giving clarity in the judgment it will be removing your uh, worry and tension it will be giving the firmness sadness also will be removed happiness and uh, anxiety will be removed you will be more focused of and apart from that the positive thinking peace intellect stress reliever and anxiety reliever memory also will enhance so it is been proved that 20 27 minutes of meditation will help Uh, for you to increase the work enthusiasm so that is a, a very recent study which i have quoted here and apart from that you can also play giving uh, uh, the boosting of the immunity means you can involve yourself uh, in the different place i think usually it can be the chess sudoku and uh, word puzzles uh, skipping swimming walking etc etc because all these will make your body and mind happy though you may feel it may be like oh, maybe it's a waste of time instead of uh, doing this exercise i could have done my uh, project work and all those things no many a times you have to give time to all these things because internally the body will be building its defense mechanism a uh, very important area what i would like to also stress is we have to concentrate on the green plants which are there in our back so that it will not not be very difficult for you to understand and uh, some areas i have also mentioned hindi and sanskrit the word so i think it can be understood you can take the screenshot also so abutilon indicum or atibala it's very good for strength and uh, asparagus or shatavari will increase the milk secretion 
and uh, phylanthus niruri or amara it's also called as bhumi amala it's very good for tonic and it uh, uh, it cures the jaundice and nowadays uh, people are behind this because it is a very good antiviral drug so empty stomach uh, uh, many people are preparing its uh, uh, liquid medicated liquid is prepared that's called as kashaya and they are taking it in the empty stomach uh, which will surely promote uh it's uh, anti infective property in the body and apart from that it's very good for liver and uh, and you know liver is a very big uh, organ which is concentrating upon the toxins in our body so in that way uh, the phylanthus neruri can do very wonderful uh, uh, things in the body and apart from that the tinospora cordifolia it is used in the fever and uh, of course nowadays i think uh, even uh, uh our uh, central ministers they are they are also promoting this giloi tea along with ayushvata there is something called as ayushvata which is been promoted by ayurvedic industry uh, which will be a very good uh, enhancer of immunity as well as it will take care of the uh, symptoms usually of the covid 19 and uh, this giloi tea i think it is also being promoted by the um, central government only uh, so people are preparing the giloi tea of course it's very good because it's not only immune booster it will also uh, be considered as rasayana in our ayurveda and uh, neem and castor and shatavari there is one co combination neem castor and the shatavari this together will also help in the menstrual uh, problems and vaginal infection so this is all based upon the uh, research i am telling you so this is haritaki or what we call as terminalia chebula uh, so this is uh, harad i think it is called in hindi uh, so this particular thing uh, uh, the fruit will be used and uh, single and uh, combination you can use it and in single it is uh, a mild laxative especially when you are using it in in the powdered form and it will improving uh, it will be improving the digestion when it is when it is chewed and similarly the constipation uh, constipation will be re relieved if it is boiled and if at all it is taken and in uh, fever uh, it can be taken with the honey and in jaundice it can be taken with the gomutra uh, ultimately it is best rasayana you can uh, you have some of the products like as abaya vista and trifala churna also wherein this is one of the ingredient you also have got a vibhitaki so this is terminalia bellerica and uh, this particular particular plant it is uh, there also the fruit is used very good for cough because you know um, uh, some of the viral infections like covid 19 it is also having the uh, proper uh, the uh, main uh, uh, symptom as cough so in such conditions where there may be some respiratory distress and asthmatic attacks the difficulty in breathing and everything trifala or this particular drug alone that is uh, this uh, uh, vibhitaki churna that can help uh, very nicely and apart from that uh, diarrhea uh, here you have to burn this uh, fruit and you have to mix it with the rock salt and you can take it in the diarrhea and uh, similarly if there is any burning sensation on the skin uh it may be because of various reasons even the fungal infections certain fungal infections also give rise to the burning sensation it can it may, every time it need not be every time generalized only some local problem also may be there wherein the gen, the powder can be used the application can be used or you can make a soap also with this particular vipitaki because it has got some slimy kind content also you can prepare a soap uh, soap out of it and uh, if any local swelling is there for example any insect bite etc and all there also along with the rice water you can apply it and uh, it is also seen that it will be helping for the corneal opacity and uh, you have got some uh, compound formulations like uh, like uh, trifala churna and lavanga dibatti and talisadi churna also and this is about amalaki that is a very famous again that is amlika officinalis that is amla <coughs> sorry so the, here also the fruit is used it is a very good uh, rasayana and uh, <clears throat> very good for eyes especially you can uh, help uh, you can see that your eyes is washed by the water which is prepared by keeping this fruit overnight decanting the same and uh, similarly it can be used in the rheumatic disorders abdominal disorders jaundice hiccup and breathing disorders also like uh, amla can be used daily so it also comes as uh, nityopayogi dravya every day you can use this amla 
so i told you you can prepare that green gram soup isn't it in that green gram once you have prepared the soup last you can add this amla powder also it will enhance the taste as well as uh, you can see it is uh, every day you have to use uh, such plants so it will help you for enhancing the uh, immunity and this particular plant is or the fruit is uh, ingredient of chavana prash also uh, of course central government also has given a uh, lot of uh, priority to this chavana prash uh, in this covid 19 era so this all together is making trifala but the only thing is trifala is good for health there is no doubt about it the better thing is you take it under the supervision of the ayurvedic doctors and you have certain uh, um, uh, 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 different uh, combinations also which i can uh, tell you for example white discharge in the ladies if any bacterial origin is there then you can make a pill of uh, the fennel with the crystal sugar soaked overnight in the cup of the water taken for 15 days and uh, uh, or else you can use this garlic for 3 months internally and also wash the vagina while bathing with a neem leaf decoction for 3 months but the only thing is if at all it is fungal infection even husband is also advised to take the garlic daily so garlic can help you build the immunity the local immunity of the vagina that also especially for ladies uh, neem leaf tamphoon externally with oral consumption of the garlic can be helping for the month and uh, i can mention some of the antiseptics like amla uh, which is consumed either raw or in the dried form ajwain it is called as carum copticum or oma it is called so the seeds will be consumed orally and amrita balli or it's also called as uh, the tinospora cordifolia giloya the decoction of all the stem for oral use garlic can be used and turmeric can be used tulsi and neem and chatavari also can be used as antiseptics similarly you have got some sedatives because uh, we were uh, thinking about uh, the sleep as well as some anti spasmodic uh, uh, like uh, muscle contractions uh, to counteract sudden muscle contractions especially in case of the uh, me uh, menstrual problems in the ladies or it can be simply the stomach pain also which usually is uh, seen in the children uh, now and then they will be suffering from the pain abdominal pain so in such cases the malabar nut and that's also called as adathoda vasika or vasa or ajwain and amla and uh, the ht uh, madura ati madura it is called licorice or the tulsi and uh, even hemidesmus indicus or sari why it is called that is uh, uh, indian sar uh, sarsaparilla all these uh, can be used individually also you can use it or in the combination also you may use it similarly some plants are very excellent uh, tonic like you have got general weakness and everything so or maybe you are suffering from anemia then what to do you need not many a times approach the doctor as such you can take care uh, by using this amla by using this shatavari and uh, giloya you can also use the coconut uh, water uh, so the tender coconut water and the fruit the total fruit no whatever that white part will be there that can be used for the oral use and uh, even uh, the bale fruits can be used Uh, you can make a cool drink of this bale uh, fruit and you can use it and uh, the metica or the men, uh, the fenugreeks that also can be used and mango papaya all, all i already i have told you about the fruits and apart from that anti inflammatory problems if any inflammation in our body then you can use this uh, licorice and hibiscus rosa as essences that is called as uh, japa in sanskrit that shoe flower what we call uh those flowers you can make a uh, infusion and you can uh, uh use it along with the cumin seeds and milk for oral use so all these are also working as estrogen like plants uh immune promoters very specific immune promoters are amla and uh, hemidesmus indicus and mimosa pudica and tinospora cordifolia and uh, drumstick tree that is moringa oleifera that is also uh eaten especially you can cook it the leaves and the fruit can be cooked and it can be eaten it will be giving very nice uh, resistance to the illness and uh, abutilon indicum that is atibala it is called in sanskrit it is called a country mallow in english uh, the leaves can be eaten fresh so it is edible you can eat it nice uh, immunity will be developed and if you have got any bone problems like maybe body aches are there or joint pains are there or maybe you had some trauma 
uh, you had some injury and uh, it has led to some problem in your bone and everything you again have some of the uh, plants here like mangista that is the rubia cordifolia sariva that is hemidesmus indicus and vibitaki uh, uh, i told you about that is one of the component in the trifala uh, terminalia bellirica all these are actually uh, done vigorous research and that only that information i am giving you uh swellings on the face this also can be treated by borhavia diffuser that is called as punarnava and uh, another thing uh, we can uh, treat it uh, with the fenugreek greek uh, seeds uh, uh, and uh, uh, you what we have to do is uh, crush the handful of the fenugreek uh, leaves and you have to add the ginger separately and you have to make a tablet together and uh, you can uh, take this tablet daily so this is very simple it is nothing but the food only whatever food we are eating that only little bit of changes you are making so it's uh, it doesn't require a special uh, prescription you can try many a times if you have any idea uh, or if you have a friend of a friend in ayurveda you can approach them and you can uh, try all these things uh, for various problems what you can suffer you are suffering similarly there is lavanga long it is called so here uh, we have got uh, lavanga di varti lavanga sava lavanga di churna and all very good for the indigestion problem and especially if your mouth is having some foul smelling i told you the mouth nose and everything the ear every sense organs has to be clean then only the higher uh, mental functions will be clear and uh, the defense mechanism will be clear so the foul smelling also it will take care of uh, similarly there is uh, something called as maricha that is the piper nigra Uh, so it is uh, uh, it is used as trikatu churna maricha di taila and maricha di churna so for chronic cough and all or else if any indigestion is there uh, or if there is any arthritis if there is toothache so the powder of this particular uh, plant uh, it, uh, the fruit can be used even the leaves are used the leaves are used in the insomnia actually uh, you can prepare the taila or uh, oil out of this leaves and you can use it similarly there is pippali uh, that is a piper uh, uh, long gum it is called as so this uh, again can be used for chronic cough and uh, any hiccups or altered uh, voice and uh, disorders of spleen it will be helping and uh, for worm infestation also it will be helping to let see you know every uh, i think every home in india knows about this to let see Uh, so it is a best stress reliever that is the reason why it is there in the compound uh, usually in every compound this tulasi or every home will be having this tulasi because uh, it is a stress uh, reliever so once you take the uh, smell of the tulasi uh, area wherever the, the the total area where the tulasi is residing that will be the total environment will be having a peculiar uh, smell and that smell if at all it is smelled then you can see that it will relieve the stress also and apart from that uh, uh, some antiviral uh, effect also will be there in your body so you have got some of the uh, plant uh, the combinations called as tribuna kirti rasa which we use for uh, fever so especially uh, viral fevers this plant and its ingredient it has an ingredient in different compound you can use it uh what you know that it is a sweet flax uh, so this can be a very good uh, 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 uh formulation or uh, individually also it can be given in uh, headache and uh, it's uh, considered to be a very good uh, memory promoter and that is why you know there so this particular thing uh, Uh, will be promoting the memory you have got shatavari i already told asparagus is very good especially in the inflammatory condition and apart from that it is a very good rasayana also it can promote your immunity daily taken especially for the ladies it is very good and uh, you have got shatavari guda shatavari gutta and all which you can take regularly especially lactating women they can take this along with the milk along with the milk you can take so that your child will get a very good milk and uh, there of course you know this comes under fruit pomegranate and uh, even in ayurveda we give lot of uh, importance to this particular plant and uh, usually this plant is used uh, in the bark uh, the bark powder especially it is used in the dysentery and all 
uh, and uh, anti infective also it's very good anti infective uh, you know uh, in the nature also the goat especially if at all it suffers from the loose motion and all it will go to the pomegranate tree and it will start into eating its leaves so this is actually seen directly uh, this uh, the, the, this uh, uh, document was there uh, it is there uh, depending on the research only Uh, so the goats usually, if they suffer from the loose motions, they go to the pomegranate tree and they will be eating its leaves. So the leaves also they have got very good anti uh, dysentery effect. So you can uh, use this uh, uh, as a daily uh, promoter of your immunity. Also, similarly, you have got this uh, uh, cucurbitaceae family member that is ash gourd. Of course, it is a vegetable what you use in your home. Uh, but you know it's a very good uh, promoter memory promoter and apart from that any problem in the uh, males especially related to the infertility uh, it will help uh, uh, especially related to any uh, male disorders so this particular plant will be giving a very good wonderful result and apart from that in anemia also and uh, if at all you are very lean then you can use this particular ash gourd so that you can put on the weight similarly there is something called as manduka parni that is uh, called as indian penny wort so that is centella asiatica uh, usually it is told that it is like a brain only so the particular leaf and the brain they look very alike so to tell that it's a very good uh, memory enhancer not only that in skin problems also we use it Uh, especially whenever i have got any patients with uh, the pimples i usually ask them to take this uh, internally as well as externally i ask them uh, to make the juice of the same and apply on the bot uh, on the face usually it will give a very good complexion and it will relieve this uh, particular hormonal imbalance uh, which is the result which has given the result of the pimples uh, you know this is hingo uh that is uh, ferula nortex usually again it is a uh, it is one of the ingredient in our daily diet uh, so this particular uh, plant it is very good for the abdomen i told you about the tummy health so if you are using uh, especially the buttermilk buttermilk if you are using you have to put little bit of hingu in it so that uh, uh, it will take care of your tummy and uh, buttermilk also is like uh, uh, nectar for our life so both together they can do wonderful job uh, for your uh, total uh, git and uh, similarly it will also help in epilepsy if any people are uh, suffering from epilepsy and all regular uh, diet uh, you can change uh, with a mixture of this hingu little bit of hingu you can use similarly in menstrual problems in girls especially young girls this hingu will work very nicely not in the older uh, older ladies because uh, see uh, the menstrual problems menstrual menstrual cycle when you are talking about uh, it can be during the menarche uh, the pains can be during the menarche or else the pains can be after the uh, childbirth uh, so uh, there is a difference there so especially in the young girls where the menarche the just started with the menarche there the hingu will work uh, so you can try it out and there is something called as hinguastic uh, churna i think many people are also preparing this hinguastic soda it will be available in different hotels also so this hinguastic is actually ayurvedic product so this is very good in uh, the care of the tummy or uh, health of the tummy you also have got this uh, mishraya hello, hello? Ma'am, ah. can you please share your screen? It's again got. Uh, okay, okay. Only some slides are there. I'll, okay. I'll just.
Okay, ma'am. Yes? Oh. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, the fennel, you know, whatever you are eating once uh, uh, you are coming back from a hotel, usually they'll give you, isn't it? The sweet fennel. That is Phoenicurellum uh, vulgare. It is uh, very good, especially uh, whenever you are having burning maturation, right? Uh, whenever uh, there is a burning in when you are uh, urinating, that time it can be given with the water and uh, you will be having good uh, result for that. And even in headache also, uh, the fruit can be made into the paste and it can be applied on the forehead, especially in a very mild headache, usually because of digestion problems and all. No, Usually the people will be having, this is very easy method of relieving them of their headache. Similarly, in the dry cough also you can take and uh, in compound uh, formulation also there is something called as uh, Mishraya Arka. It is available in Ayurvedic uh, um, uh, this thing, uh, dispensaries, you can uh, try with us. Uh, this is uh, Danyaka, uh, uh, it's also called as Dana in uh, Hindi, uh, uh, that is coriander, nothing but coriander. So this one, uh, usually it's very good in fever. So especially if your uh, fever is associated with the thirst, uh, what you have to do is uh, the coriander seeds, uh, they have to be dropped into the water, they have to be kept overnight. And uh, they have to be given. And given in the sense, the whole water should not be given. The little by little, uh, the sip by sip, the water has to be given. That will be helping them for relieving the thirst as well as the fever. Uh, also, whenever there is some allergy, like uh, maybe conjunctivitis uh, in of the eyes and all, you can prepare a decoction. You can filter it and you can use it as a drops for your eyes. Uh, daily also, if you, if you are able to use this uh, as a uh, drop, that will help to maintain your uh, uh, health of the eyes. And uh, in indigestion also, the decoction will be very helpful. And uh, you have got in Ayurvedic uh, uh, industry, we have something called as Danya Kadi Hima, which will be either you can prepare it yourself, as I told you, like uh, using the drops, eye drops, or else uh, you can uh, you have uh, Arka or uh, distilled uh, method, method is there, which will be available in the shops. Uh, there is Oma, it is called as Oma or Ajamoth. Uh, so this is uh, the celery fruit actually. So this uh, also the fruit is used. You can use it in the abdominal pain, like how you used this uh, Hingu and all. Like that, this also can be used. You can boil the water, uh, boiled with this particular Ajamodha and uh, then uh, you can give it, especially for small kids. It is very, very uh, useful. Uh, very small kids which will be having some spasmodic uh, type of the pain in the uh, uh, because of the digestion problem and all. Uh, there, uh, this uh, water can be helpful. And uh, similarly, in diarrhea also, along with the honey, it will be useful. Jirak is there, that is cuminum, simenum. So it can be given in diarrhea along with the curds. And especially in the lactating uh, woman, it will be increasing the lactation. Even in case of the piles, if you have got lot uh, much of the pain in the piles, then uh, many a times uh, you can't you can't sit uh, much pain is there. You can't walk, so such conditions will be there, you know, because of extra stress. Uh, such patients usually I tell them to apply this external application, and usually it will be relieved because many a times they are not in a position to come to the clinic. Also, they will give a call and they will ask what to do. That time. They, I'll ask, to, ask them to prepare the paste of it and apply it to that area and uh, it will give a very good result. Uh, and uh, there is something called as Jiraka Dhyarishta. It can be helpful for even diabetic uh, conditions. Uh, Bilwa, you know, Bail, Bail ka uh, jo hota hai na, wo, Bail, uh, Bhagwan Shiv ko bhi bahut piyara hota hai. So, Agile uh, Marmelose it is called. So, this can be used in uh, diabetes uh, mellitus and it can be used in diarrhea and uh, dysentery also. And uh, uh, fever also, you can use it. Um, and uh, we have got Mahanarayana Taila, something called as Mahanarayana Taila, uh, which is used for uh, uh, the application on the body, especially if there is any painful conditions, maybe joint pain, etc. Or else maybe for Abhyanga, I told you about the Abhyanga and Snana, wherein some oils can be used. So for the oils, uh, Mahanarayana Taila, if it are used, then you can take care of many things. Uh, this is lavanj or uh, cuscus uh, grass, uh, vetivera zizinoids. 
so this can be used for vomiting especially you know covid patients many people they will be suffering from uh, uh, abdominal pain as well as vomiting some people are there who are giving the records of vomiting and uh, abdominal pain uh, so for them uh, this ushira or this particular thing can be uh, doing very good because we have tried it on the basis of telemedicine uh, people with the positive covid Uh, covid positive uh, with all these things uh, but uh, taking the antibiotics uh, usually suddenly started and uh, this ushir was actually started and uh, uh, the effect was very good in them uh, so it is only based on the telemedicine and only for some patients we have tried so we don't have any records to tell that it's very uh, very wonderful in covid i'm not claiming that i'm only telling you that can be effective and uh, apart from that uh, the skin diseases also you can try and in uh, diabetes mellitus also you can try this particular uh, uh you have got a musta okay this is a grass actually everywhere it is available so if you are able to identify this particular cypress rotundus everywhere in, uh, throughout india it is available actually so this you can use for fever especially uh, all type of the fever this uh, uh, thing can be used especially if it all it is there associated with diarrhea it will uh, work uh, very nicely and uh, even in the wound and all uh, it can be grinded with the water and it can be applied as a taste and uh, apart from that in the lactating women uh, the paste can be applied to the breast locally also it can help for uh, increasing the milk uh, next is uh, a very important drug that is giloy uh, it is called as uh, tinospora cordifolia and uh, usually indicated in the fevers a very good uh, uh, promoter of uh, immunity and you have got uh, uh, different uh, preparations like amrita rishta and dashamula rishta all these uh, chavana prash and all all these together you can use for uh, the different viral conditions bacterial conditions and all and this is what i was mentioning about uh, the bala uh, like i told you that you can prepare oil of it so this is a plant actually cida cordifolia this uh, cida cordifolia many cida species will be used many species cida species are there like uh, cida cordata is there cida cordifolia is there so many species of cida uh, or cida acuta Uh, so all these uh, cida species they really do wonderful job and all them all of them they can be considered as a source of bala only uh, so you can prepare a oil and this oil can be applied even in the body not only for the hair even for the body also especially whenever the patient is having a complexion loss uh, because of various reasons general conditions their bala taila can help uh, do wonderful job and uh, similarly whenever hair fall is there there also so you'll be having a very good uh, uh, remedy by bala uh, this is ati bala uh, that is abutilon indicum this is edible actually the leaves and all you can eat it and it can be very good uh, nutritive uh, so uh, and uh, in case of infertility also we have tried this particular seed powder it does a very good uh, job especially male male infertility i was speaking about a uh, very minute problems are there then you can also manage with this so actually this is a edible drug that is why i am claiming telling this because uh, in diet and all how much changes we make as per the indian tradition that much benefits we will be having for uh, fighting the diseases so that is why all these things were known to our uh, old uh, ancestors but nowadays we are uh, not knowing anything about uh, different plants and uh, we do not know the utility we do not know whether it is edible or not we do not know whether it is poison or not so su such conditions uh, we are living uh, so i think it is very important we know about the plants similarly this also i told you it's very good uh, uh, immunomodulator it's called as a horse radish uh, tree or uh, drumstick tree uh, so uh, even in the migraine any nasal problem is there and all uh, there also you can use it and um, uh, for different uh, uh, for example paralysis if there is any paralysis and all one can also use this particular plant so this is kumari or elo uh, a very good uh, immuno booster again uh, so omega uh, that uh, omega 3 type of effect will be there in this particular kumari Uh, or if you are taking internally also you can be taking it or externally also you can apply it to the skin 
uh, there will be softening of the skin the complexion also will be improving and apart from that your skin will be having a defense mechanism to fight with the various fungal and bacterial infections so this is scissors quadrangularis so you can make a chutney of this particular thing and it will help in the bones uh, growing your bones because bone is very important again it will be a defense um, a mechanism because it is like a, a barrier the whole body has to stand in uh, stand with the support of the bone only so the bones have to be strong and for that you can use this as a diet daily diet also or maybe occasionally you can prepare different cuisines out of it and you can use it uh, this is aparajita it is also a very good memory in enhancer you can make a, a, what we call gulkand the flowers can be collected all these flowers can be collected and you can make a gulkand of it and you can use for uh, the memory daily you can use it the gulkand you can uh, also rose petals uh, and other petals of the jasmine and all you can all together all petals of the flowers can be used different uh, edible flowers and uh, they here in you can see that your mind is very calm uh, and uh, relaxed by the use of these type of uh, preparations uh, so this is uh, ati madura or yashti madhu it is called as glycer is a glabra so this is actually very important anti you can say it is a very good antibody i mean what we say antibiotic of ayurveda like uh, any uh, in every conditions whatever the system is in the failure either whatever 11 systems are there you no know, in our body all 11 system uh, you can use this um, uh, yashi madhu the only thing is you have to use it with the milk uh, so alone you can use uh, you can't use it uh, along with the milk only you have to prefer this uh, use and it is available in all ayurvedic shops so it will be yashti madhu powder it will be called and uh, it will also help in uh, immunity as well as uh, any cough especially productive cough it will be helping wherein the uh, plaque will be going out of the body so this is ashok you know that it is also called as sita ashok uh, you know sita uh, she was uh, when she was um, captured by ravana she was kept in the ashoka vana so this uh, because she was there living there in the ashoka vana it is said that uh, she was like healthy uh, without any problems and all she was uh, very healthy uh, to say that it is also very good immuno booster especially to the ladies uh, and uh, if there is any menstrual uh, bleeding etc etc then it can be used and even in the renal calculi also the seeds uh, which are soaked in the water can be cooled and it can be given Uh, so this is another plant that is oxalis corniculata and this plant is very good in the area uh, even in ayurveda we have got something called as uh, changeri adi grutta which will be used for piles and if any abnormality is there in uh, the passing of the uh, stools and all then you can have the uh, positivity of this and this is another antibiotic of ayurveda that is the neem uh so this uh, every part of neem you know everything is used uh, so you can use as i told you snana uh, for skin disorders or any fungal infections and uh, daily also if you want to uh, if at all you have the availability of this neem leaves it is better that you mix uh, your uh, bathing water with this neem leaves and uh, even oil can be prepared you can use the infective wounds you know especially diabetic wounds and all diabetic wounds and all they will be having uh, uh, um, some uh, unhealing uh, mechanism will be developed in the body so they will not heal at all so such cases the non healing wounds they are called as in such cases and all uh, simply application of the oil of this uh, neem that will be very helpful and uh, sometimes you also see some maggots will be formed in the wound so for that also the neem oil can be very good so all these uh, whatever the plants i have told and uh, whatever the ideas i have told for uh, building up our mechanism defense mechanism it is based on uh, the clinical experience only and some related to the research so i think uh, the total presentation may be useful to you all uh, and to conclude i would tell you that health is not researched compared to how far the diseases are researched so health and well being is your responsibility so it's very important you take up your responsibility and you see that you are uh, uh, continuing the daily 
a regimen whatever has been told uh, in ayurveda and ayurveda is not uh, anything new like it's not a very uh, something you are adding no nothing like that because uh, everything whatever you were doing your ancestors were doing if you can adopt the same thing that itself is ayurveda because your ancestors they were living a ayurvedic life and i think we need to go back to the same life so that we are uh, really taken care of uh, by our own selves uh, as not to be culprits of different healthy problems uh, disease or uh, diseased problems thanks uh, a lot and i'm very thankful to uh, gp tiwari sir and his team uh, for the opportunity the total of abhav foundation i'm very thankful and i really hope uh, whatever the uh, presentation i have given might have helped the people thank you ma'am ma'am you have few questions from our participants okay um uh this this is from mamta and so what like how to get relief from migraine a migraine see migraine is one such problem where the cause uh, to, uh, knowing the cause is really difficult okay uh, first of all uh, you have to see how severe the migraine is uh, whether uh, many times what happens uh, but just by the sleep uh, the people will be feeling very comfortable some of the people but uh, some people are there even with the sleep they will not be very fine and they'll be so much irritated agitated they'll be irritated and everything you know uh, that time the difficult uh, difficulty will be there as to give a control of it but uh, once there is some lifestyle modification once you are giving uh, taking uh, 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 some medicines are there in ayurveda and apart from that there is one uh, very important panchakarma related uh, uh, therapy that is called as shirodhara it is something which is related to the panchakarma therapies only not panchakarma as such it is something assisting the panchakarma so it is shirodhara uh, wherein the oils and all no we usually uh, uh um, make them uh, lie down and we'll be pouring the oil on their head so that is called as uh, shirodhara so such uh, uh, methodologies will help them the only thing is the correction i think uh, you should know the causative factor for the migraine what is aggravating the headache like uh, whether it is a profession or it can be some person it can be some factor so such things you have to know kon upar uh we have a uh, next question from vijay lakshmi sharma she is asking like those who follow daily routine work it is necessary for them to do exercise yeah yeah exercise is compulsory exercise exercise means uh, it is uh, see i'll tell you uh, whether you can do uh, yoga or not whether you can do meditation or not but exercise is compulsory see uh, i uh, the exercise is something which will be helping you for taking the stress uh, level whatever stress is there no in your profession or home whatever stress is there you can take it by adopting exercise in your life exercise means it's not every time uh, uh, like uh, you have to do very big exercise you have to go to a gymnastic or something like that aerobics or something like that simply lifting the heavy materials you know in uh, your new house and simply walking and uh, trying to skip you can take a skipping rope and you can try it uh, that uh, at least so that time what happens you are making your body loose and uh, you are seeing the body is getting light and whenever the body is light everything whatever comes to the body everything it will take it as lightly so that is the reason why the exercise has to be done compulsory has to be done okay ma'am thank you and our next question is from uh, abhishek bhargava for diabetic patients how it is it possible to take fruit like pineapple in our diet for diabetic patients apple apple should be taken not pineapple okay Apple. I mentioned it for the apple. Yeah, okay. diabetes for apple. Okay. And ma'am, there is so many questions from many participants. That few tips for relief constipation. Huh. 
how to get constipation if anybody is suffering from constipation it means that their food is not proper at all they have to change the lifestyle so morning getting up uh, from there only it has to start you know because morning the paras para, uh, whatever uh, the uh, bowel movements what we call uh, that bowel movement will be very very adequate comparative to any other time the bowel movements will be adequate during the morning hours especially getting up early is favorable for that also so and apart from that the diet that also has to be corrected like if they are taking some hotel food or if they are taking some very spicy food and all then they can go for the constipation so you have to check like uh, history taking is important like i cannot tell you uh, like uh, one people uh, the reason may be different another people the reason is different so i need to know what type of constipation they are suffering from and then the advice can be given but the very important thing is the total lifestyle you have to modify as per ayurveda whatever i have told you getting up early and everything that has to be done then only you can take care of constipation okay thank you ma'am and there is another question from sudarshan rao gd in a obsessed person what should be the daily routine especially regarding food can we follow the nitya sevanya drashya even in stolya people uh no uh, it depends actually nitya sevanya in the sense for example rice and all they are not uh, very much indicative for the obese people you know uh, so it depends like uh, uh, there should be some modification uh, in the uh, obese people uh, we have to see what is the reason for the obesity uh, either it can be again there may be uh, nil exercise isn't it so the reason also has to be seen and we have to tell about it but the diet uh, not nitya sevanya drug for that obesity we have got another package of uh, the diet which has to be followed okay thank you ma'am okay now we participants if you have any question you can ask Ma'am, there is one question from Priyanka, but uh, these days, out of ten to five people suffering from psoriasis, yet it is not curable. What should be done to control it and get rid of psoriasis mark as well? Psoriasis, uh, it is an autoimmune disease. Uh, disease actually, uh, of course, it will be manifesting on the skin. okay uh, autoimmune disease but it is manifesting on the skin uh, so here what happens is uh, uh, like uh, <clears throat> uh, we have to go for panchakarma therapies uh, in ayurveda we have got panchakarma therapies where we'll seeing upon the dosha predominance like whether it is vata or whether it is kapha or whether it is pitta and all like for example if it is a, a pitta predominant condition then we will ask them to go for uh, purgation that is called as virechana where we, where we will give the medicine which will helping them for uh, giving uh, for uh, uh, increasing the bowel movement it will uh, incre increase uh, the stools and uh, there is a typical classical type of uh, method how we are adopting it for the patient and uh, then uh, we'll uh, see that it is done uh regularly in different sittings okay like it's not one one time purgation uh, so regularly depending on the patient we may ask them to come once in a six months or depending on the prognosis we can ask them to come once in a year and all then uh, we can uh, uh, see depending on that uh, whether it will give the response or not <clears throat> many times Uh, many a time uh, some medicines also are there medicines also will ask the patient to continue not only the panchakarma once the panchakarma is done no uh, diet regulation will be there and even the medicine regulation also will be there uh, then uh, we'll ask them to come uh, every year actually so many years they may have to come but still uh, uh, you know total cure is very difficult total cure is very difficult i'm very sorry to tell this but uh, uh, psoriasis is like that the total disease psoriasis is like that okay thank you ma'am for the brief explanation 
there are another question from Gurpreet Kaur. How to treat lack of hunger and nausea accompanied by vomiting whenever the food is consumed? What type of food will be helpful? This question uh, is from Gurpreet Kaur. Uh, what was the question? How to treat lack of hunger and nausea accompanied by vomiting whenever the food is consumed? What type of food will be helpful? Uh, they, she, she, uh, they, the particular question whoever has asked, they want to know uh, how to control uh, the anorexia. Yes, ma'am. Anorexia in the sense, uh, uh, the food, she doesn't want to take the food or something like that. Hunger yes, is... Uh, this is not anorexia, no no, One second, I'll see the question. One second. Ma'am, sorry to interrupt. Uh, uh, Gurpreet, uh, if you can uh, unmute your mic and ask your question directly with uh, Chaitra, ma'am. It, uh, it will be easier for her to understand your uh, query. So, uh, Gurpreet, if you can listen, if you can hear me, please uh, unmute your mic and ask your question directly. One second, sir. I'll also look into his uh, question. Uh, 